Indian and Chennai in this PSLE 2018 paper 2 question series. I'll be going through question 17. And this question is the last question of this PSLE 2018 paper 2 question series, okay? So, in my channel, I'm to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So, let's jump straight into question 17. Okay. This over here is question 17 and this question is testing us on multiples and this question is a pretty tough question. Okay, so let's read the question first. In a shop, candles are sold only in boxes. A box of seven short candles costs $2.50. Okay, and a box of five long candles costs $3.20. Here, part A, Dan wants 19 short candles and three long candles for his lanterns. What is the least amount of money that Dan will need to spend on the candles? Okay, so let's highlight the key information. So a box of seven short candles costs $2.50, a box of five long candles costs $3.20, and they are only sold in boxes, okay? So Dan wants six, 19 short and three long candles for his lanterns. What? is the least amount of money that then we'll need to spend on the candles okay so over here is the seven short candles for two dollars and fifty cents and here is the five candles for three dollars and twenty cents okay for the three long candles we can just use one box because it's already five so five is greater than three okay so you can already use that so we do not need to work out anything for this we just need to use this box because it's only sold in boxes so you cannot change anything okay so but for 19 short candles it's a problem because in one box there's only seven right so first i'm going to take 19 divided by 7 it will give me two whole and five over seven so this five over seven can be i cannot take out some candles from the box and and sell it to somebody right so Basically, it's only sold in boxes. So I'm going to change this 5 over 7 into 1. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So I need 3 boxes. Okay. So the least amount of money that Dan will need to spend to buy 19 short and 3 long candles is basically 3 times $2.50 plus $3.20 for one box. Okay. So it will give me $7.50 plus $3.20. So it will give me $10.70 as the answer for part A. Okay, so $10.70 is the answer for part A. So I hope you understand that. So now let's move on to part B and read the question. Part B. Eva bought 21 more long candles than short candles from a shop. The total number of candles she spent was fewer than 50. Okay, so they're asking us how much did Eva spend on the candles altogether? Okay. So, Dan and Eva are different persons, okay? So, Eva bought 21 more long candles than short candles, okay? So, this is a comparison. After that, they are telling us that the total number of candles she bought was fewer than 50. So, this is another clue. They are asking us how much did Eva spend on the candles all together, okay? So, this is question 17 and I hope you understand for part B what they are asking us. So first, I'm going to list down the multiples of 5. Okay, so the multiples of 5 is basically 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45. Okay, so this 5 is the long candles. Okay, so I'm listing down this first because there's 21 more long candles. So this is the greater value. After that, I'm going to list down the multiples of 7, which is short candles. So 7, 14, and 21. So first, let's try out with 7. 5 minus 7 is negative 2. No, 10 minus 7. Okay, let's, let's not do this and find a realistic number. So the number should be more than 21 in order to minus it. So more than 21. 25 minus 7. No, it does not give us 21. 30 minus 7. No, none of this. 35 minus 7 is not 21. 40 minus 7 is not 21. 45 minus 7 is also not 21. Okay, let's try with 14. Okay, what is more than 21? 25, right? So 25 minus 14. No, it's not 21. What about 30 minus 14? No, it's also not 21. 
but 35 minus 21 will give us 14. So basically, 14. So basically, 35 minus 14 it will also give us 21. Okay, so this is how we can find what's the thing for here. Okay, now, now that we know that uh, 14, 14 over here is square, and then this 35 here. Okay, so basically, right, so basically we know that the long, the long candles is basically 35 and the short is 14. So, the total number of boxes from the long candles is basically 35 divided by 5 which is 7. Okay, after that, we can find the total number of boxes from the short candles. So, it will give us 14 divided by 7 which is 2 boxes. After that, we can find the money spent on the candles. So this is basically what the question is asking us for. So which is 7 times $3.20 because there's 7 long boxes. And then 2 times $2.50 because there's only 2 short boxes, the short candles boxes, okay? So it will give us $27.40. So $27.40, okay? So this is the answer for part B. Okay, so this is how you solve this question for part A and for part B. Okay, so I hope you understand my explanation for question 17, the last question of this 2018 paper. And I hope you understand my explanation and thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!